Good to see you, Hunter. The reserve is once again Timbergold Trails, and today I want to go hunt with multiple weapons. Thank you, Jurassic Hippie, for this idea. The multitude of weapons really comes only with the variation that the 270 features. I will use the wooden version. I will use the composite version. And I will use the Call of the Wild version. Female sheep hopping around on the mountainside there. I'm hunting the bighorn sheep at the, in the steep mountains because there I can hear them. And now I can hear another one walk. Oh, look over there. Ooh, it's a ram. <laughs> what a coincidence. Small ram. Could be the usual 140 to 145. And it scores 148. A good start. I can hear another sheep here. I hope it's the one I've been going after. It's not top weight. The estimation says 85 to 110, which is 10 kilograms below the maximum. And maybe it's coming it's coming back here. There it is. Is it the ram? I'll try and get it with the 270 composite. And it's just walking in front of me here. That cannot be a big ram, that's for sure. Yeah, it is the ram I've been going after. <sighs> wow, I think I, I hit the rock. <sighs> Still running there. <sighs> I think I've hit the rock. So there's an issue there. It's bedding down. So I must have hit it as it was running. I was clearly aiming over the rock, but somehow the shot got stopped there. There's a ram. It's not going to give me a better position in the competition. I think this is more like 110, 120. 85 even. So very low. So I did hit it twice. I guess the last shot before it was betting was also a hit, although a really bad one. Wanted to just quickly talk about this 270 wood version this is a lot better finish now they changed this many many years after they introduced it before it looked kind of ugly initially nobody cared but after they introduced so many nice weapons they also had to go back and change this one they changed the 243 and the 270 And just to compare it quickly, this is what it looks like now. A nice shiny finish, high texture quality. And these are the iron sights. The rain is the kill of all bighorn sheep hunts because you no longer hear them. But I saw one run over here and now it's stuck. So that's an easy target. 
I have no idea whether it's male or female. There's another one. Quick, 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 reload. And that got stuck as well. Good thing I have the red dot sight. So they, those were easier to see. Let's go see what we shot there. Yeah, it could be these guys. It could be exactly these two guys here. And I noted how I keep aiming too high. Maybe too, wa too much color the wild plane. The 270 really shoots straight at this distance. So there's absolutely no reason to aim high. And here we have the first sheep that got stuck in the shrubs here. And this was also slightly high. Hit the spine. Was dead on the spot. Two females. These guys are really deaf. Running and running and now I can hear them walk. What is it? Oh wow, look at this. Nice, got that as well. Really been running and then I heard them walk, so I stopped running. Hard shot from very close. Oh, just want to reload. And this one was running. Needs a bit of luck when they run. They go zigzag, they go up and down. They can turn on these rocks here or because of the rocks. Here it is. Lungs and neck bone hit. A little sheep way up there. Trotting. So I'm looking if there's more and there is. Oh, there's two rams. There are two rams there. I have to be fast because they disappear quickly in the woods there. No, not you. There you are. 120 to 160. It's not going to win a flower pot. There's the other. It's also not big. 120 to 165. And now I want to use this one. The Call of the Wild version. With the camo finish. Yeah, that's about it. By the time this is reloaded, they are gone. This Call of the Wild version was freely given to people who bought the Call of the Wild game. And um, so now I have three 270s. The one version I do not own is the um, Grey Wolf, probably the best looking one. And it's right now on sale actually. So if you consider a 270, I would go for the Grey Wolf. That just looks great. I haven't bought it yet. And I think I can really run here. The rest is gone. There's a ram. 142, how many times have we seen this core? And I'm not going to go after the other, it was too small. Somewhere up here is a really nice big horn as far as the weight. 95 to 120. 
maximum weight estimation and I can hear it maybe it lives here in this house I can hear it but I haven't seen it yet And I want to be really careful or it'll run quickly and likely run up the hill. There it is. Oh, look at these horns. Oh, wow. That's a big one. 170 to 210. I'm not going to mess about with this. Like in the bad movies where the bad guy keeps talking and the good guy doesn't shoot him and there's a long conversation and in the end the bad guy gets away <laughs> or vice versa. You know these scenes. I'm not going to talk long. This is a huge ram. Wow. 170 to 210. I'm signed up for a competition. I have to beat 182. Look at these horns. Wow. One eighty seven three two three. Wow, that's a big one. I have to check quickly if this is my personal best. So it turns out I had a one eighty eight once. But this one <laughs> it's clearly going to take the lead. Shot with the two seventy bold action rifle. Call of the Wild. So here's our bighorn sheep. Personal best of this season for sure. I think this is the best. No filter in this case from the side. So you can see the huge horns curled all the way up back to the base. Really nice bighorn. And uh, this concludes this video for sure. I hope you had fun with the 270s going after Bighorn Sheep. Until next time, thank you very much. Stay in touch.